Hey YouTube, um, back to uh, do the second part of this review on the Sarco Inc. 45 Auto Builders Kit. I went ahead and put this together and um, took it out. Took it out to shoot it. I ran two um, eight round clips or magazines. Sorry, not a clip, but eight round magazines through it. I shot it on a rapid fire. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Absolutely no jams. Um, no misfires. No. It, 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 shot flawlessly um, I did have some issues when I was putting this thing together uh, the auto builders kit is should be labeled as a gunsmith special kit uh, these parts are not drop-in parts absolutely not drop-in parts you have to hand fit these parts if you don't know what you're doing uh, don't even bother um, I had to actually do a lot to this uh, magazine release just to get it to work uh, this actually this thumb safety does not work see that this thumb safety does not work at all so um, I know I've had that problem with another one of their kits and I just called up Sarco and they sent me another part and I also had a problem with the extractor and uh, I told them the same deal and they sent me another part and then I mailed them back the part so they're pretty good about replacing what's not functional but uh, I did have to do a lot of hand fitting on this on this thumb safety just to get it to you know just to get it together and um, but as you see it uh, it does not work so it's not a big deal in my part on my part for me uh, I can go down to my local gunsmith uh, I'm, I got a pretty good rapport with him and I can get just a regular mil spec GI you know thumb safety and he'll probably just give it to me for like 10 bucks so it's not a big deal. Uh, he's only open three days out of the week, so I'll just go down there next time I have a chance, and uh, and replace that. And then I will call Sarco and then uh, let them know, and they'll send me a new part. And I'll just have that in my toolbox or my machinist box. And so, but I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that if you do get one of these kits, be prepared to hand fit your parts and. For $235, if you know what you're doing, you can get an operational 45 auto, or 1911, however you want to call it. And uh, I've built several of these uh, for, for me and my family, and the, it's kind of almost like a signature weapon for me and my cousins and my uncles, all my, my hunting circle, we all, we all got one of these and carry these and, uh, when we go hunting. And... Um, they shoot at uh, this this particular firearm right here shoots it out shoots my my spray field this particular sarco kit once you got it together and get all the tweaks out of it shoots better than that and i'm not just this is my this is this is what i i bought because you know former marine and i like the u.s uh government style and I bought this, you know, but I'm not one of the people that buy something just to keep in a collector. I, I shoot it. I use it when I go hunting. I use it when I go out to the range. I've actually done two two gun competitions with that. And uh, love this gun. Absolutely love this 1911. I'm a big fan of Springfield. I think they're great. And I'm not trying to talk trash about this, but I don't know what it is about these Sarco Inc. Roto Barrels. But this particular setup here shoots tighter groups than this one here same ammunition and um, that's just how it, it's just how it happens uh, I always tell my cousins it's because uh, I, I built the guns and I'm I'm you know I'll sit there and talk shit that I'm badass and that's why they shoot better than you know your store bought but I don't know maybe it's the roto barrel if you look up Sarco Inc on the shotgun news they have an article little passage about their roto barrels that that shoot like if they're competition barrels and you know I, I believe it because I, I've seen it um, my uncle's pistol shoots groups like this. My two cousins, their brothers, uh, almost like twins, they all each have one of these and, and that, that we put together. And their groups are, they shoot the tacks out of the uh, damn targets, trying to show off all the time at the range. And uh, this one here shot flawlessly. So I, I'm just, I just know these guns with the Sarco ink kit, once you get the tweaks out of it, can perform better than this and I'm not saying it to like I said I love my Springfield this is the one I particularly use even though this one shoots better I still carry this just because it's a Springfield US government model with the US stamp on it but um, 
soon soon I will be building another one of these just to put this one away and give it a rest for a little while and shoot this shoot the hell out of this but um there you have it uh like I said you got to hand fit the parts this you know this this didn't work I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get that replaced but three hundred and fifty dollars is what this ended up costing uh, because I got the Forster frame made by Caspian was a second it was a second uh, what they call like the, the second productions is like a reject uh, their seconds so they you know they can't sell them as prime frames so their seconds you have to tweak them on the inside and, and, and take out all the machining errors uh, right in here will be jacked up and you can see right in right in here there's machining error that I smoothed out so you know it's just a lot of this cosmetic all the all the holes all the uh, machining holes and, and all the the feed ramp and everything is you know where it's supposed to be it's just kind of a kind of a the you know the the half cock safety works the grip grip safety works but the thumb safety does not work so uh, you know look into it I just wanted to do a video on it just something to do uh, I like them I recommend them once you get all the tweaks out of them they're good to go